So I'm going to combine two topics here into one video just because I can. And that first topic deals with Microsoft. They have stated publicly that they are now open to any possible cross-platform deal with Nintendo and pretty much any other platform out there. That would include PC, obviously. That would include maybe even Mac. That would include uh, you know Android and iOS devices and obviously PlayStation if Sony ever decides to allow that to happen, which... Uh, Right now, we all know that Sony very, very clearly does not believe in crossplay at all. Now, here is what Microsoft said, and this comes from a piece by VG247.com, written by Matt Martin. Uh, it says that Microsoft has said it's ready to have a conversation with any development team that wants to feature crossplay support on consoles and PC. Mike Yabara, vice president of Xbox, told VG247 that it's happy to talk about the likes of Valve and Nintendo when it comes to getting multiplayer games working across multiple platforms, just not just between Xbox One and Windows. And he says that it's more about gamer choice, more about making an IP on our platform that lasts longer. I don't care where they play. I just want people to have fun playing games because it's just better for the industry. The demands of consumers and developers have changed. People are like, we want all of our gamers in one multiplayer pool together playing. And we totally agree with that. If any developer wants to have that conversation, Valve is right down the street from us. Nintendo is too. They're like a block from us. We're having these discussions as developers come up. And we're completely open to that. Uh, obviously, this is probably in response to some questions that dealt with Ark Survival Evolved, uh, which has cross-platform play between Xbox and PC. Sony won't allow it to happen. Uh, and you know, Forza Horizon 3 has cross-play between Xbox and PC. Uh, Crackdown 3 is going to have cross-play. Sea of Thieves is going to have cross-play. Those are obviously Xbox uh, you know, kind of games, exclusive games. But uh, they also have cross-play, obviously, with Minecraft. We also know that there's cross-play with Rocket League between Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PC. So it sounds like Microsoft has essentially said, look, period, you can do cross-play. It's not a problem. And Nintendo, so far with cross-play, has also told developers, hey, look, you want to do cross-play, let's make it happen. Like, that's literally what Nintendo told the people from... from uh, <sighs> from Rocket League, when they were like, hey, what do you think about crossplay? And Nintendo said, let's make it happen. So, this is just really, really cool, uh, really good on Microsoft. Hopefully, uh, Nintendo and Sony keep pushing this, and someday down the road, Sony will be forced to change their minds and join the party, because I would love to have all of the Madden player pool together, all of the FIFA player pool together, all of the Call of Duty player pool together, all these multi-platform games, we really should all be able to play together. We're all playing the same game. Anyways, moving on. Uh, the other story we're going to talk about today is one I'm going to have a little bit more to say on. Uh, and essentially, EA talks about FIFA 18 on Nintendo Switch. Uh, and the, the article title, this is an exclusive article on DreamTeamFC.com. Uh, the title of the article says, FIFA 18 EA Sports reveals why it's a good thing that the Nintendo Switch version doesn't use Frostbite. Uh, and the idea here is that it's better looking than any FIFA they've released on 360 and PlayStation 3, and that if they use Frostbite, it for some reason wouldn't be better looking. Uh, some interesting thoughts on that, but let's just get right into the article. Uh it's written by Tala Musa, and they say that Frostbite, the in-house engine developed by EA Dice, powers FIFA 18 on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. However, FIFA on Switch will use a custom engine based on the Ignite code from FIFA 16. While EA confirmed the Switch can handle Frostbite, the company opted to build a unique engine because it would have been heavily downgraded, resulting in a cruddy second-rate game. Uh, Andrea Lazarescu, who leads the team at Budokrest, who's working on FIFA for Nintendo Switch, told Dream Team Gaming, as much as we would have wanted to use Frostbite, you can't without making the whole engine work. 
we intentionally chose to do a custom engine because we felt that rather and tried to get frostbite running and end up having to downsize things and making it just a smaller, lower quality version of the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions, we wanted this to be a FIFA that stands on its own two feet. We want people to recognize it and play it for what it is rather than saying, hey, you're getting a cruddy second-rate game. This is a full FIFA that lets players uh, that players will enjoy. Uh, for those worried about the lack of frostbite, uh, Lozarescu is confident the Switch version looks far superior than Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, PlayStation 3 versions. And they say, if you put the two together, you won't recognize them. When you dock the game, it's 1080p and 60 frames per second. Gen 3, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360 could never run the game like this. We're also using physics-based rendering, another thing that Gen 3 did not have. We're even putting icons in Ultimate Team. Gen 3 won't have these either. Uh, and FIFA 18 is actually not going to, to uh, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. It's one of the first FIFAs to not be going to that platform. Uh, and it's really interesting... Um, you know, Elizabeth actually comments a little bit on career mode. It says career mode is probably a similar experience to last year's version. It's an experience that has been catered for this season uh, because career mode is missing some features uh, that the FIFA 18 has on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Uh, and then when asked if anything the Switch does differently in the mode, he said, in career mode, no. While this may disappoint some players, it could prove very handy for those that are already familiar with the game. So, yeah, it's... It's really interesting, and I'll have a link to this article and the one I mentioned about Microsoft below, so you can go on and read some of the additional comments being made. Uh, I don't know what to think about this defense, because on one hand, EA is obviously going to defend the decision to not use Frostbite. On the other hand, I don't know, like when people say, they're essentially saying we don't want people to compare this to other console versions of the game, while at the same time comparing it to last gen versions of the game. And I don't get why uh, why this is the defense. All they had to say is that you know they didn't have time to port the full Frostbite engine, so they decided to go with one of their older engines and customize it for Switch because it's faster to do, uh, and they're able. You know, that's all they really had to say. They didn't have to spin it into this thing like this is the best possible decision. Uh, if we had ported Frostbite entirely, it just would have been a downgraded version. It's still a downgraded version. It's missing features. The animations are not as good. The visuals are not as good. Uh, <laughs> Even in career mode, it's missing features. Like it's, it is a downgraded FIFA 18 that's using the FIFA 16 engine. It, this is why I, I don't get it. Like they say, they that's this defense just baffles me. Okay, you say you didn't want to use Frostbite uh, because it's better for the Switch to not use it, to not be compared. But it's still called FIFA 18, and it's still going to be compared. And then you go ahead and compare it to systems that are a generation old and weaker than the Nintendo Switch. Yes, if you look at the Nintendo Switch version of the game, it's going to look better than the 360 and PlayStation 3 version. Of course it's going to, because it's a more powerful system. It's supposed to look better. And yes, it runs at a higher frame rate, because it's got better CPUs than than those systems. It should have run at a higher frame rate. Uh, the thing is, is... I don't think people who own Switch, and I'm one of them, so I don't know, I can't speak for all of you, but personally, I realize when we get multi-platform games, we're not going to have necessarily the best performing or the best looking versions of the games. We know that. We know there's a sacrifice for those games to be portable, but I don't think that's a barrier. I think this excuse is just a bunch of BS, and I, I think you guys think it is too. Uh... If they had a chance to get Frostbite fully running this year, they should have did it. Because if they did, Madden could have came. You know, NBA 2K, or not 2K, I'm sorry. Uh, whatever, that's not, they don't make that. NBA Live Series could have came. Uh, they could have really did something special here uh, by having Frostbite come over. Because that starts to enable things like Battlefield uh, and all the other games that run on Frostbite, which is a, a large chunk of EA's library could have potentially came over with Frostbite here. The reality is, we know what, what's up. EA does not have a ton of games coming to Switch. It has FIFA 18 and FIFA 18. <laughs> so 
we know EA is just testing the water. They're dipping their toes into the Switch, seeing if they can make any money on it. And if they do, they will bring full support next year. I mean, that that's really it. There's no uh, guessing here. There's no need for me to explain it further than that. We know what EA is doing. Uh, that's why, I mean, this person uses a swear word. You know, when I said cruddy second-rate game, that wasn't the word. They didn't use the word cruddy. They used a, a certain S word. And it's like, why are you so passionately defending the decision to use the older Ignite engine from 2016's FIFA and arguing about frame rate and, and you know, <laughs> and resolution and how the game looks better than consoles that are over a decade old. Like it, it just baffles my mind. We, we shouldn't be comparing this to the Xbox 360 and PlayStation three, because those are like generation old hardware that came out in 2005 and 2006. We're talking about 2017. Of course, it's still going to be compared to Xbox one and PlayStation four. And of course, it's not going to compare favorably in terms of, you know, the best resolutions. And I mean, it's going to compare favorably frame rate wise, obviously, but it's not going to compare favorably visually and cutscene wise and close ups. All that people, all that really matters is that the gameplay is on par, right? That's all I expect. If they had ported frostbite and gave us the full version of future, for 18 just downgraded in terms of visual quality but we're still able to hit 60 fps and we're still able to have the same quality of gameplay and animations then i would be perfectly happy with that and i think most people buying fifa on switch would be perfectly happy with that as well uh this is just what's so frustrating i, I don't i know that it, it's really hard for developers to admit they're doing something as a test and i don't expect ea to, to admit oh we're testing the waters with fifa but they really shouldn't just throw out these BS excuses uh, that, oh, we just don't want it to be a cruddy version of FIFA 18. So we custom built it on a completely different engine, and it's the best looking it's ever been on portable, and it's better looking than PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. When I mean, if it wasn't better looking than PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, then you guys are really not doing a good job because uh, the Switch is severely more powerful than a 360 and a PlayStation 3. So... Yeah, it's oh, just, I guess, EA being EA. But hey, at least Microsoft is uh, completely open to crossplay in pretty much all capacities. Uh, that's always good news. And Nintendo's probably right on board, too. Nintendo hasn't made any public statements about it, but come on. Nintendo hasn't blocked it already with the two third parties that wanted to do it. They're not going to block it in the future. Any company that wants to do it can do it. You know, if Madden comes to uh, the system next year and he's using Frostbite, Nintendo could easily be like, hey, let's cross-play it up between Xbox uh, and us. And we'll, we'll talk to Sony, but they're going to say no. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button, subscribe for more, and hey, I'll catch you in the next one.